What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in this video we're going to go over how to set up sandbox mode with PayPal payments on WooCommerce. And with that, let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe. Only 3% of all my viewers are subscribed. So like or subscribe if you guys get value of this video. Okay, let's jump into it. So I have this Charlie's Coffee site and I have PayPal payments. So if you don't already have PayPal payments set up, you can check this by going to your plugins and going down to WooCommerce PayPal payments. So I have this plugin installed and activated. And if you wanna set this up on the live mode, you can see my video in the cards above. So I can easily go to these settings and I can see that I need to connect my account. But since I just wanna do sandbox mode for testing, I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna click this um, test payments with PayPal sandbox. Now I'm not actually gonna click this, I wanna do manual credentials. So right here, this will pop up and I've had some issues with this pop-up connecting my sandbox account with PayPal payments. So I'm just gonna use this manual credential input right here. So I'm gonna enable this and I want to, um, or now I need to add in my client ID and my secret key. So with that, I need to go to my PayPal developer account. So I'm gonna to go to um, developer.paypal.com and I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna to go to my dashboard. Awesome, so I'm in my sandbox mode on my dashboard and I'm just gonna go dual screen for a second. So if you guys haven't already created a PayPal sandbox account, you need to do so and it may ask you to confirm your email before you're able to do everything. So a quick rundown when I'm in this right here, um, make sure you know things like this are enabled and if you try to enable you know, PayPal payments, it may ask you to confirm your email. Okay, so now we need to connect our account. So I'm gonna go to my apps and credentials and you will just see default application if this is your first time in PayPal uh, Sandbox or PayPal Developer. So I'm just gonna click right into here and I have this Sandbox email address and I am just going to go like this. So I have this Sandbox email address and I'm gonna go right here, and then I need to get this client ID. I'm gonna paste it right here, and then this secret key. So I'm gonna get the secret key right here, and I'm gonna paste that as well. So this merchant ID becomes important in just a sec. So I'm gonna erase this, and I'm gonna go back to um, sandbox accounts, right? Sandbox accounts right here, and I'm looking for this, you know, start. So sandbox accounts right here. And right here, I have this business account. So I'm gonna view edit this account. And that's going to bring up this account ID. So they count it, they, they say account ID and merchant ID, but they're two different things. So I'm just gonna grab this and then I'm gonna paste this right here. So now I have everything set up and I'm gonna click save changes. So after clicking save changes, I'm gonna have this option to enable the PayPal gateway. So I'm gonna enable the PayPal gateway and I'm also gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and click Save Changes. So the next step we're going to do is do a test transaction using a PayPal personal sandbox account. So if that sounds confusing, don't worry, we got you. So I'm gonna to go to just a random product on my store and I can see that these PayPal buttons are showing up in sandbox mode. So to do a test transaction using PayPal sandbox mode, I need to go to my PayPal developer site, and then you go back to that site. So I'm just gonna go full screen back here. And what I need to do is I need to click create account under this sandbox, sandbox accounts. So I'm gonna click create an account and I'm gonna create a personal account, okay? So it's gonna be a personal account that I'm going to create. And it's gonna be the next one that shows up, the latest one. And I need to copy and paste these this email ID and this password. So this is going to be the email and password I'm going to use on a test transaction. So the easiest thing that I like to do is I like to you know, push my browser all the way over here. And I also like to open up an incognito window. So or this also could be using you know, Safari or something else like that. So I'm gonna open up an incognito window and I'm just gonna go to a random product on my store and I'm gonna click you know, PayPal. So I'm gonna click PayPal, and you can do. You guys can do this on the checkout page as well. 
And with here, I was already logged into a pass uh, account, but right here, uh, let's use this email and this password. So after logging in, it's going to show me um, the, you know, the options I can pay with as this test account. So if I click this funding tab right here, I can see that this card number ends in 2004, for example, right here. And let's say I wanna make that my preferred way to pay. This is just a sandbox account, right? So I'm gonna click continue, and then it's gonna redirect me to the checkout page. And then I finally have to click place order. So I'm gonna click place order, and then my sandbox account is going to process the payment. So you guys can see that this payment was processed successfully. And now I can you know, use this sandbox account to test a bunch of different transactions on my WooCommerce site. So let's go back to this Charlie's Coffee site real quick. And the one thing I wanna also cover is subscriptions. So if I um, go back to my main settings tab right here, and there's also this thing called vaulting. So vaulting, I wanna enable vaulting. So this allows me to save cards on my account and also use it with subscriptions. So I need to enable this, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. Awesome, so the next thing I need to do real quick, if I click this PayPal card processing, is it wants me to make sure that I have vaulting enabled. So I'm gonna you know, just put this back in this tab and go full screen again, and I'm gonna go to my apps and credentials, and I'm gonna go back to the default application right here, and I'm just gonna click into that. And under this accepts payments, advanced options, I wanna make sure this vault is enabled and checked. And there may be some other things that you guys wanna enable here as well, such as login with PayPal or transaction search, but that is something that you guys could also enable if it isn't already enabled. So I just enabled vaulting or it's already enabled on my account. And now if I come back to a product page, I can see that it only shows PayPal and PayPal credit. So Venmo is not able to be saved as a payment method, so that's why you can't use it with subscriptions. So now that I have PayPal card processing enabled, I'm just gonna go through the checkout on my incognito customer again. So let's just go back to this incognito customer and let's you know go through a test checkout. So let's say he wants medium roast on a subscription. And he's click buy now, and now he wants to use you know PayPal right here. you know, he'll be able to use that preferred method that we used before. And he's gonna click agree and continue. Awesome, it's gonna take him back to the checkout page again, and it's gonna show him these recurring totals, and then you can click place order. Awesome, so that order is received, and also if I go to my account, and I go to PayPal payments, I can see that, or does that PayPal payments, but under my subscription, it has this you know, change payment method um, and a bunch of different things as well. So it can seize the payment via PayPal. So that is how to set up a Sandbox account with PayPal payments with WooCommerce. Now, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the description box or the cards below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys got value on this video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.